guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got Cole's five month update for you guys and you guys know I like to do these every single month. We're gonna have to turn that off if we're gonna film this video. That noise I hear all day long and it's repeated and repeated and it gets stuck in my head and we're just not gonna do it for this video. Well, today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about some changes that has been going on the last past month with Cole and I did not take notes unfortunately because I didn't even know I was gonna film this video. I just decided to do it at the last minute. This is kind of an odd setup so I do apologize but he was over here playing and he literally just took a 10 minute nap. So I thought I would go ahead and film the video. Hi. If you guys haven't noticed, he's huge. He is so much bigger just in the last month than, I don't know, it's crazy how the month goes by and it literally flies and then he's just so big. Like I cannot believe how big he is. So um, one thing that he's definitely, um, has been different with him is that he's more into toys. He definitely is like more fascinated with playing. He can be occupied for a good amount of time in his jump room or his walker. He loves that car's walker now. He used to not really care for it and now he loves it and he loves this thing. He jumps so much in this thing. I was kind of hoping he would do it for you guys but he's probably kind of tired because we've been out all day and he hasn't really got a lot of rest so far today, but, um, I mean, so far he's being pretty good until he wants his bottle, but, um, anyways, it's so funny to watch him in this thing, it's just funny. So, you guys have to check out my vlogs if you haven't, and I'll definitely have some clips of him on the vlogs if you want to see more of Cole behind the scenes and what he does, and just to keep up with our family, be sure to check out my vlogs. So, he's definitely eating solid food like really well now he opens his mouth up for it he gets anxious if he sees you with a drink or food of any kind he knows what it is now he knows what his bottle is like 100 percent now he gets so happy when he sees his bottle now it's so weird like he just knows like it's weird how he's like learning what things are and what they do and like he's just learning a lot he's really smart and um, he has gotten so much better with the rolling over, like rolling over from his belly to his back. He's figuring that out a lot more now, so I'm not so like concerned when I put him down on his belly now or when he rolls, I don't have to go and like roll him back because he gets mad. He's, he's so much more calm now with being on his belly. He actually loves being on his belly now. He likes to play with toys in front of him when he's on his belly. He can scoot a good bit through the living room and he can, he definitely does it on the bed so I have to watch with that. But um, he, he likes to kind of turn himself around if he sees something he wants to go after. He's on the like all four positions to crawl but he can't get his back part of his, his like legs and his butt up at the same time with his arms but he's, he's like got the right idea. So I feel like not too much longer he's going to be crawling. It's insane. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to have a mobile baby in the house, and I'm going to be, like, baby-proofing everything and probably bubble wrapping everything because I feel like I'm going to be one of those moms that's going to, like, freak out when he bumps his head. And I know he will, but I, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to him getting hurt and, like, um, what I'm most afraid of is like him getting hold of something really small and choking on it that freaks me out so bad so I try to make sure I vacuum my floor every single day and obviously I'm not going to leave him whenever he's going nuts and I'm going to contain him if I need to while I get stuff done. Um, I did order a baby backpack a carrier type thing that's supposed to be here tomorrow so I'll let you guys know how I like that. Um, check out the vlog if you want to know. But I thought it was just time to get one to carry him around. And not only for that, but like if I go to the store real quick and I just want to throw him in that um, instead of putting him in the cart. Because another thing that he has gotten kind of impatient with is he's jumping now. There he goes. <laughs> are you jumping? Show him how you jump. Show him. Show him how you jump. Oh, you're so funny love when you jump it's so funny it reminds me you guys only could have saw me when i was 
like little. I think I was two years old, but I had this bouncy horse, not to get off topic here, but I had this bouncy horse that I went nuts on and beat the crap out of that thing. Probably wore it, wore the springs completely out. Uh, my mom, I think eventually it just had to like pitch it because I wore it out so much, but he is just going to town in this thing all the time. But um, what I was gonna say, what was I gonna say? Oh no, I lost my train of thought. What was we talking about? So yeah, I don't remember now. What I was gonna say was, is that now he gets really impatient when he is in the car seat for a long amount of time. He doesn't like to be sitting in the seat for, I mean, it's really hard to go on a long trip now, I noticed. Like, me and my husband went to um, Kaiser the other day, and it just didn't go well. We went to Elkins, and it, like, it all really depends because he will sleep in the car eventually when he's ready to go to sleep. He'll sleep, but he won't get, like, a, a lot of sleep like he used to when he was little. And he used to love the car seat a lot more when he was little. He would go to sleep like instantly you put him in the car you knew that he was going to go to sleep every time now he's more aware of his surroundings he's interested in things so he does not go to sleep every time you put him in the car anymore unless it's he's due for like a nap or something and even at those times sometimes he doesn't always go to sleep and that's been a lot different um what else He's getting a lot stronger now. He's really up on his arms really, really good now. Like I said, I think he's about to take off with crawling before we know it. He likes to walk still. He's, his legs are very strong. Um, oh no. I think it's almost time for a bottle. Is it time for a bottle? Are you hungry? He does that noise now. Normally when he's hungry or when he's tired, he makes that like noise. <laughs> He makes a lot of noises. He likes to imitate what you're doing and what you're saying. Um, he has a ball in his bathtub now. Like he kicks, splashes. He loves the rubber ducky. That's his like favorite thing when he gets in the bath now. I'll like squeeze it toward him and he just, he just cracks up and gets the biggest smile. And he definitely cracks up a lot more now. Like giggles all the time. Um, Sometimes he's a little hard to crack. You just gotta keep working with him. He loves to look at himself in the mirror still. Thinks that that's funny. He's really into music and he's really into songs. He loves when I sing. A couple songs that I sing to him that he likes. It's like, Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a duck. E-I-E-I-O. With a quack, quack here, and a quack, quack there, everywhere a quack, quack, quack. Oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> he really likes that one. He likes Mary Had a Little Lamb. My mom started that with him, I think. He really likes that one. I sing that whenever he's going to sleep. He kind of, I feel like some songs kind of trigger his brain to know that it's time to go to sleep. I feel like they help. That's just my opinion. Um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, he loves seeing that for whenever it's time for him to go to sleep. And he gets really sleepy when I sing that. Um, what else do we sing? We read books. He likes books. He likes to look at the pictures. He likes to touch textures. Of about anything and you guys can see he's really into playing he likes to move things with his hands a lot more now and he can see I think he can just focus a lot more than when he was even over a month ago he's really focused in on stuff now and it's, it's crazy how much he's learned he is now in six month clothing pretty much he's teething like crazy he chews on everything um, so I'm thinking pretty soon he's going to have his first tooth, which I'm super excited about. Um, what else? His naps have been about like they always are. I try to put him down for a nap about an hour and 20 minutes of him being awake and it works. Normally it works perfectly and he will sleep for about 50 minutes or so. Um, an hour being normally his longest. Like yesterday he did take an hour, which is usually unusual for him, 
but he took an hour but as long as I keep on that kind of cycle when I'm at home which I can't always do but when I am at home I try to put him down an hour and 20 minutes after he's been awake are you ready to eat so I think I'm gonna make him a bottle really quick and feed him so we're gonna go over by the door and I'll try to think of some more stuff to talk about so we will be back Who's up there? It's Zoe! Zoe! Oh, McDonald! <laughs> okay, so we are back. I'm going to feed him his bottle. Look how big he is, you guys. Look how big he is. He's so big. By the way, he doesn't see this bottle, so look at him looking at it. He really knows. Watch, you guys. Watch him. <laughs> You really know. He tries to hold his bottle more now. He's definitely into holding his bottle. Um, he's got a heck of a grip. Like, I can't believe how strong he is. It blows my mind how strong this little guy is. But um, his hair is coming back in. That's a plus. Last month, he lost it all. And now it's like... Oops. I'm sorry. Let's let's recline you a little more. Here. There you go. You gonna hold it? <laughs> So, um, yeah, his hair is getting, he's got a big cow like right here, but his hair is getting thicker, which I'm glad. Um, it was way, he had way more hair when he was born, so I can't wait to see him with a full head of hair. I can't wait to see if he's going to have curly hair, which I think he is, like a mixture of curly and wavy, because my husband's hair when he gets out of the shower is really shaggy and kind of curly, so <laughs> you guys wouldn't know that in the vlog because he kind of blow dries it and stuff and you couldn't tell that his hair is like that but it really is <laughs> so um yeah what else his eyes are still really dark they're dark brown with honestly when the sun shines in around the eyes i can see some green in there like a little bit like it looks like he's got collar hi it looks like he has a lot of collar in his eyes but um i just can't believe how like I don't know like active like interactive he is now about everything he's he's very nosy guys <laughs> he's very nosy like he wants to know what's going on at all times and he just he's just very nosy I don't know how else to put that he doesn't like I feel like I'm not a very nosy person and I find it hard to believe that my husband is because my husband never seems to be very nosy so I don't know where he gets that from but he's very nosy aren't you you just want to know what's going on all the time. Is it good? <laughs> but yeah, he's loving solid food. I'll give you guys a quick update if you don't watch my vlogs. But we have been giving him a Miralax prescribed by his doctor for his constipation issues that he's suffered with for like a while. Like juice would fix the problem, but I didn't want to have to give him juice all the time for it, you know. I just felt like that wasn't right to do. And I just don't want my kid to be like addicted to juice or anything. So I'm really glad that I talked to the doctor about it and they gave him Miralax. So we put a teaspoon of that in his bottle every day and he poops every day. It's, it's, it's like night and day compared to what it used to be. It's so much better now and I feel a lot less worried. Um, he loves some, he loves like mostly all the fruits of solid foods. He's not a fan of vegetables. Must be like his father. <laughs> Are you like your dad? You don't like vegetables. He hasn't liked peas or green beans, so I don't know. He, he likes carrots, though. He does like carrots and butternut squash. So that's a plus. But the green stuff, he just doesn't seem to like. Um, what else? So you like oatmeal. He definitely likes oatmeal. Um, we put that in his bottle every day. Every feeding, I put like a tablespoon of it in there to help with his spit up issue he was having. He was spitting up like a lot. And he's still drinking five ounces. Sometimes he can drink more. It all really depends on like what kind of mood he's in. Right now he's just chewing on the nipple. He's not even drinking this milk, you guys. You fooled me. He likes to do that too. He likes to like make you think that he wants his bottle and then it takes him forever to drink it. So he's just playing right now. But yeah, he loves like all of his toys now and it's just, it's honestly a lot, getting a lot more funner than what it used to be. Um, I will say that, like he's getting a lot 
more fun. Um, I know, like, in the beginning, it was just very, like, I mean, honestly, like, the newborn stage is very boring. And, I mean, yeah, they're really small and really cute, but they don't do nothing. So, like, the fact that he's starting to do things just excites me because, um, if you guys watch my vlogs, you guys know that I strugg struggled a lot with just being a new mom. It's really a weird title. Like, being a mom is just weird in general. Like, it's, it's weird from what your life used to be and how you take care of somebody and it's just it's a lot different but I'm learning now that the best way for me to get through things is to not be so serious about things I mean yes I want to be serious about things because I'm a mom but not so strict like and not so like stressed you know I'm trying to learn to go with the flow like today he just took literally a 10 minute nap I was like, I'm not going to worry about that. Like, that's something that I don't need to worry about. Um, he's a cat now for most of the time, but the goodest amount of naps that he will get is about an hour. Every once in a while, he'll, every once in a while, he'll nap longer than that, but not very much. But I think it's pretty normal for his age. He's probably weighing about 16 pounds now. He's huge, you guys. He goes to the doctor in September for his six-month appointment, and I'm so excited I can't believe he'll be six months. You're getting so big. And hopefully he can sit by himself by then. That would be a huge game changer, you guys, if he could sit up by himself. Because I feel bad that I all the time have to lay him down or prop him, you know. But I know once he learns how to sit, he's going to learn how to take off. I just know it. So I don't know if I'm ready for all that. But <laughs> I guess I better get ready, huh? Because you're always going to change. You're always going to change. You see your bottle? Oh, you looking at mommy's pretties? Say we're gonna put our fall stuff out soon. And then he'll really get a hold of my stuff, guys. I could see me getting... Oh, another thing I wanted to touch base on. There's not really a lot, a lot of things I feel like that I wanted to talk about. But another thing that I wanted to touch on was his nighttime. His nighttime has been um, pretty good. The four month mark was awful. <laughs> Uh, for whatever reason, it was because he learned how to roll and then he couldn't roll himself back. He kept me and my husband up all night. It was like the newborn stage all over again. And then I bought that new wrap, um, little strap. If you guys watch my vlogs, I bought it at Walmart for 30 bucks, And it's really been a lifesaver. Even though now he's kind of, I think, getting irritated with it because he can't roll to his side, which is how he likes to sleep on his side. And he also, I think likes to sleep on his belly now some. So I think that thing ain't gonna be very much longer. We're only using it until he completely masters, till we know for sure that he can completely master rolling himself back. And then we're probably just gonna let him go back to rolling around in his crib um, and sleep how he wants to sleep. Cause I feel kind of bad that he's strapped in there, but it's a pretty comfortable strap, and I do highly recommend it if your baby is rolling. It's it's really helped us get more rest and go to bed with peace and, like, ease to know that he's safe and that he's not going to get stuck. And then we have to get up and flip him, and then he just kept doing the same. <coughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Well, you haven't hardly drank none of this. He seems to love his stroller, and he loves outings. He loves the outdoors. We go on walks. <laughs> try to every day um so he likes being outside a lot it's been raining here though like the whole summer so we haven't really got to do a lot of out like as much as we wanted to we haven't got to but he we do go for outside walks at least every day and he loves that he loves looking at things he loves animals he really does seem to like animals a lot he just smiles at the cats all the time <laughs> and he just tries to go and get them you know and uh Poos will actually let him pet him a little bit. Yella doesn't want anything to do with him. He's like, Yella's like terrified of him. <laughs> he like doesn't, doesn't know what that is. But Poos is a lot more calmer and chill. And he just, he's used to him now and he doesn't even bother him. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys, that I wanted to update with you guys. Um, look at him. He's ready to go. Where are you going? Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> I'm wanting to go. Let me show you guys how he likes to climb. Come on. Here he goes. Where are you going? Where are you going? Stick a 
pot. Oof. Got that right in the mouth. See what? You give me a kiss? Can you give mommy a kiss? Mm. Give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? No? You're just tired, aren't you? You're a sleepy tired, huh? Daddy should be home a little bit, huh? <laughs> he hides his face now when you talk to him and other people interact with him. He'll laugh and then he'll hide his face. That's something new that he does. Um, he definitely recognizes people now, for sure. And he knows who people are. He hasn't been too afraid of strangers yet, but I have a feeling that that's going to happen. Um, the I did want to quickly tell you guys that the bathroom toilets that are in stores scare the crap out of him. Like, I took him in to change him one day, I think is what it was, with my mom. We went to the mall and we he heard one of those toilets flush and he freaked out. And I was like, oh wow. And it kind of like clicked in my head like, yeah, he probably hasn't heard that sound a lot. Because it's not very often that we go in public bathrooms unless we're out like that. And it scared him to death. I felt so bad. But yeah, so he's afraid of toilets. <laughs> he's, um, other things that he's afraid of, I would say, like, la really loud things that he's really unsure about. Um, but for the most part, he still likes the vacuum cleaner. He's the dryer or nothing bothers him but the bathroom tool is scared him but we're gonna go but thank you guys so much for watching our five month update with little buckaroo here <laughs> and we will see you guys in our next video so be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we love you all very much thanks for supporting our channel and watch our vlogs <laughs> you get to see a lot more of this little guy all right guys thank you and we will see you in the next video tell them bye look 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 and then bye! <laughs> you have a laugh now. Kitty's baby! Kitty's baby! Kitty's baby! Kitty's baby! Kitty's baby! I'm going to Kitty's baby! I'm going to Kitty! Come on Kitty's baby! See, Mommy got to turn you around, don't she? Let's see if we can get ya.